all right what's up fam hope everybody's doing good today i just wanted to showcase an ar build that i've been using lately and yo i'm really enjoying this build i really enjoy this build and uh the main reason this build is useful is because of clutch all right clutch is super nasty and it uh heals you as you crit so uh restores 20 percent health and one percent armor and i highly suggest you try to get this on a pair of gloves and use this build around this so that uh it could work you know it's kind of hard to make builds but you just want to start from from like one position you know so we're gonna start around clutch and uh I basically want to explain the brand sets now. So you see, I have three Wyvern and uh, two Araldi plus a Fenris. And it's all for a reason. They all do different things. So I'm going to just explain the brand sets and then I'll explain each piece of gear and what you want to look for. Because I'm still working on this build. If, if I could, I would have like 200 health, you know, 200,000 health. So it's just a build and I'm working. It's a progress. And here we go. So uh, Wyvern, um, the main reason I'm using it is for the crit chance, which it takes three pieces of gear to get. So uh, crit chance, drone skill is a plus, especially with this build, since you want to run uh, the drone instead of the cam launcher. And then we have a uh, 7% crit damage because crit chance isn't that useful without crit damage. So that's actually a good talent, you know. I don't know what other people think, but I, I like that talent. So right here we have 10% uh, accuracy and 10% headshot. And that's from having two pieces of Araldi. And that's just my preference. You know, you don't have to run two pieces of Araldi. And last Fenris, I highly suggest because it gives you 10% assault rifle damage. And uh, it's really useful. So I really suggest that. But uh, here we go. I'm going to explain each piece and what you want to look for. And I'm going to try to not ramble on too much, right? So right here, uh, we're going to start with the chest very crucial piece and i i feel like berserk is a real useful talent still it's changed but it's still really useful and you really want to try to get fight on your chest piece right right here you could go with uh utility mod so it'll be a yellow slot especially since they're changing uh mods to where like generic mods are only going to work on the color of gear that the mod is made for so purple gear blue gear that's what we're understanding right now from from the new pts but here we have weapon damage you want to try to get as high as you can i suggest crit chance and health you know as high as you can get crit chance and health this is a this is kind of like a mediocre piece i feel i could probably get better but as i play i'll, I'll keep grinding and i'll see what i get you could get like an insane amount of health on the chest 30k right there 40k right here you know and then uh hopefully you get like a lucky roll i don't know you probably might not get it because you're getting so many uh attributes but i don't know you never know rng is crazy sometimes right here we're gonna go up and talk about the mask on the mask you could get up to like 60 percent damage to elites which is insane especially if you're doing the rain it's crazy like you get 50 percent damage to elites maybe even more and then uh you get a good amount of health i think you get around like 20k off the top of the dome but uh yeah that's that's one of the best pieces and the best talents you want to go with i feel over here we have a raldi you definitely want to go with crit chance i feel some people might switch it up and run uh a holster and you can run high crit and high health which is uh real useful when you're playing uh different builds and here we have the knee pads you can get up to like 8.5 crit chance and then uh whatever you want to run you can run damage to elites or you can run cloak you know cloak isn't a bad option when you lose your armor nearby enemy skills are disrupted for 10 seconds and i feel like it like kind of stuns the enemies too and uh once again clutch one of the most important try to get like uh 12 percent that's the cap but if you can't like stay around 10 you know I see a lot of people with like five, six, seven percent weapon damage, you know? Try to get higher, uh, whatever weapon you're using. And uh, here we have backpack. 
we have some health you can get a good amount of health here too and weapon damage definitely try to get vital that's the only reason i'm really using uh this this piece of wyvern that i have but i will say like even though i'm missing out like either on uh, armor or damage to elites i still feel like it's worth running this vital you know so i'm still uh building this build it's a build in progress and uh, here i have a p4 preference you know you can have either extended mag or allegro like i said just preference i definitely suggest strain it definitely was changed but i highly suggest it because crit chance definitely needs crit damage and uh, that's what i feel about the build right here i have the chatterbox it's uh really useful um sometimes i feel like it's not so useful but it definitely is useful especially when you're using it to heal so basically you want to use the p4 at long range and then the smg chatterbox at close range and i'm usually streaming a lot so you can check me out anytime you can check out my past broadcast i'm gonna leave the description down below i'm gonna start streaming now and uh yeah thanks for watching i hope this helped it's definitely been helping me in the raid and uh I, I love it you know try to get max crit try to get around at least 50 to 60 percent damage to elites and i would say that's your primary focus for the raid you know whatever headshot whatever you want to get that's on you and uh yeah you could basically run it however you want honestly you could run just make sure you're running health you know you could run health in different places so you could get the maximum output like health on the chest and health on the holster you know those are high health pool drops but that's up to you you know like i have 126 build here for health and i heal off this build too and it's pretty useful so i hope this helped but this is the basic foundation of what you need and i'll, I'll be working on another build and i'll be trying to make some more videos for you guys so thanks for watching i love you and i'll catch you later